Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We've got a great Ask a Ninja from Jag Deep Singh in Auburn, Washington. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we answer all of your questions that we can on our Ask a Ninja series. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. And I'm also gonna put a link down below if you have a question for us, so that way you can fill it out and maybe get your question answered on one of our YouTube videos. Okay, so here is Jack Deep's question. I have gravel in my crawl space. What can I install before the vapor barrier in order to protect the plastic and that is a great question you know we come across crawl spaces all the time where people have laid down that three quarter inch gravel it's very pokey it's hard on the knees it's hard on the plastic it's hard on everything it's hard to dig in oh i hate digging uh once you get uh, uh gravel down it's just it's horrendous and a lot of times what people will do is they will install gravel uh, because some contractor told them they should install gravel to make the water move better throughout the crawl space or something like that without even installing a French drain or a sump pump or anything like that. So normally the gravel gets installed and then you've got to fix the other issues that the gravel didn't fix, okay? So one of the things that we do whenever we are putting vapor barrier over a gravel bed is that we use two different types of underlayments. All right, so one is a felt underlayment. It's, it's kind of like a pond felt. If you're uh, into ponds and things like that, it's very thick. And uh, the, the nice thing about this product is it really allows the moisture to go through so you don't have to worry about any moisture getting trapped between it uh, and the vapor barrier because that can lead to odors and things like that. So this is our primary uh, uh, underlayment that we install at Crawl Space Ninja. Uh, but there's another uh, underlayment that we love too. And the reason why this one is so great is because, man, you can go down in that crawl space and not have to have any kind of uh, uh, knee pads. It's very soft. I mean, look how thick that is. It creates, it's got these uh, pockets in it that really, really makes this a great separator between gravel and the vapor barrier. So if you're not dealing with a lot of standing water issues and you're looking for a more comfortable crawl, uh, you're looking for something that's really, this is a this is way better uh, just because of its thickness and its durability at protecting the vapor barrier versus the pond felt uh, kind of, of underlayment. But, you know, if you got a lot of standing water and things like that, the pond felt is certainly going to have an advantage by allowing the moisture to travel through it. It's still a great underlayment. It's just not going to give you the cushion on your knees like this product will. So hope that answers your question and I uh, hope you like this video down below. Please let us know if you have any other questions. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.